Meantime, many Americans with an autoimmune disease have had a poor response to the COVID-19 vaccines, placing them at extremely high risk. An important study began today to determine whether a third dose of the vaccine will actually produce antibodies. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Manhasset. 600 immunocompromised people from around the country age 18 and above are now volunteering for a third vaccine, not a booster. The NIH clinical trial will determine why Robert Cassavellwood and others produced almost no antibodies. The first two shots didn't take as well as we had hoped. And now this, this study is really to see if a third dose is going to make a big difference. Robert's one of an estimated 10 million people in the U.S. with compromised immune systems. He takes transfusions for lung disease. Researchers are eager to know, is it the medication or is it the disease that's suppressing the benefits of vaccine? Dr. Megan McKay's principal investigator at the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research. This trial is for patients with autoimmune disease who were vaccinated but failed to produce an antibiotic body response. Like others with autoimmune disease, after two shots and few antibodies, Robert is at risk. My wife is obviously very concerned uh, that I'm immune compromised. I have grandchildren that, uh, you know, I don't get to see as often because it's a very precarious time. Robert, a dad, grandfather, and software engineer knows his body would not do well with COVID-19. I'm glad to be part of this. This is wonderful that it's the first time that we are studying this. Can't wait to see what comes of it. The trials are being conducted on Long Island and Philadelphia, Ann Arbor, and Oklahoma City. It feels great. I'm happy that I'm being able to be a part of it. I'm glad that this is going to benefit other people. I just have a really good feeling. Robert's antibody response will be measured in about four weeks. The NIH plans to release preliminary results of all 600 participants in November. Reporting from Manhasset, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.